Thank you, Jen. Uh, you said about this mask ruling out of a federal court in Florida that it's a disappointing decision and you say you continue to recommend that people wear masks. <laughs> Why is it that we can sit here in the White House briefing room with no masks, but people can't sit in an airplane cabin with no masks? Well, Peter, I'm not a doctor. You're not a doctor. That I'm aware of, if you're a doctor. I wasn't aware of that today, until Andy today. Burr. Right. Okay, not a doctor. Just making sure. I don't know. Um, and nor do you play one on TV. Nor does he play one on TV. There you go. Most days. Um, but these determinations. Remember, the masking guidance is there are is green, yellow, and red. We are currently in a green zone in Washington D.C. So they're not recommending it. Some people can still wear a mask if they want to. Many people do, or wear them in meetings, or wear them at certain times where you're going to be around or sitting close to people, or maybe you have an immunocompromised parent or or friend. And so people make that decision. And there's this is based on health considerations and data that the CDC looks at about transmissibility, as as we've seen an increase in cases on on airplanes. Then would the president support if? a flight is leaving from an airport in a green zone, those people don't have to wear masks? Again, Peter, there's a di there's been long a difference from the beginning about people on an airplane and in uh, federal transportation vehicles and situations than where they are in locations. Like, we here, here continue to be in Washington, D.C., a green zone. But what we'd ask for, I think it's important to remember, is a two-week extension, or not asked for, what we had announced was a two-week extension to look at the data and make recommendations based on the data and the science about whether it should be continued or not. Okay.